What's up? What's going on, Pisces? So let's get into it. What are the messages for Pisces at this time? You guys, please make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications. I'll be giving away um, my Pisces guidance deck in a few weeks. So don't want you guys to miss out on that, all right? Messages for Pisces at this time, okay? Messages for Pisces at this time, guys. I'm just getting the right messages for Pisces. Alrighty. Ooh, I likey likey. Getting one more. Ooh, I likey likey. Pisces. This is tight. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, okay? So we have card number one, triumphant success. Triumphant success, all right? upright and then we move swiftly in alignment to card number two card number two the sacral chakra all right we have patience in the reverse go figure and then we have universe upright card number 21 all right this is true true alignment here pisces like what okay i feel like right now you are in your bag all right with the spiritual um spiritual alignment you're in right now you are able to succeed very effortlessly here all right you have some information that many don't have or don't exist or they don't know what i'm gonna say they don't know this information exists but even if they do they're not taking advantage of it okay for instance we all talk about manifestation. Everyone talks about it. Oh my gosh, write your stuff down, believe in it, say this, uh, put in hard work and just know it's coming to you. All this, all the rules of manifestation, right? Pisces, you're really doing it. You're actually going out there and doing what you say you're going to do. You're bringing towards you what you said you were gonna bring towards you, all right? Your life is shaping out the way that you said it would. And it's, beautiful it's beautiful and it's shocking it's shocking because it's like you have some sort it's like you are you are um what they call that when you're like armed yeah you're armed and dangerous like you have this armor on you you have this strength this this weapon per se all right this magical sword or whatever you want to call it you have the tools to get what you want and it's just like People are uh, are in awe because they haven't ever seen things like this work out in in, their, in front of their eyes before. All right, there's something you've done here that is wowing people, and they honestly feel like you are above them. Somebody feels like you're above them when it comes to um, creation, what you can create, how you speak, all right, how you think. All right, you could be very very smart, very well skilled, or studied in a certain area this is expertise here this is expertise i feel all right and then with the the sacral chakra i feel like this this is honestly making you so attractive all right this is sexual energy here this is about you embracing your masculinity or your femininity all right and you becoming even more so in in your body like your body and your soul and your mind, they're all coming into alignment. Everything is really forming for you, all right? And the patience in the reverse is no surprise because as we're in, as we are actually progressing and, and transforming our lives, Pisces, we don't feel those changes happening. Like we don't see them happening. Everyone else can kind of see. Even people that we may not even like us, they see where we're going, they see where we're headed, right? But we don't see it. We're so in the thick of it that we're just like, when is my time coming? When is everything gonna fall into place for me? When, 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 when? But if you took a second and just looked around, you'll notice it's already shaping up. It's already happening right before your eyes. Right before your eyes, it's happening. And the universe here is, to, is here to support everything happening for you. All right, there is some magic per se in your midst. So if you just open your eyes and look and be like, oh my gosh, when did that happen? Or how did I even do that? You're going to start to shock yourself, all right? I feel like right now you're very practical. You're very logical, all right? You're all about pursuing what you want in a strategic way. 
okay? And if you kind of just hop out of that energy for one second and take a look around, you'll appreciate the magic. You'll appreciate the support that spirit has put in on your life because you're like, how did I even get here? How did this happen? How did I come from, from here to here? You know, how did I get from point A to point B? Okay, some of you guys are, are really cutting people out of your life with this sword. It's huge. It's huge. Okay, and you could be, be speaking some words of truth that hurt other people around you. It's not meant to hurt them. You're not trying to hurt them, but you are so focused right now, Pisces, that you don't really have time to participate in anyone else's delusions, if that makes sense. So you're being brutally honest at this time. Like you just don't have a lot of time for nonsense. So if anyone is approaching you with anything, if it doesn't make sense, if you're not interested, if they're full of bullshit, you're going to let them know. And it could be in the most respectful manner ever, but you're, you're still going to let them know that you see them. You see what's going on. Okay, so now is also the time where you could find yourself in jobs and stuff like you're not taking people's crap. You're not going to take any disharmony in your workplace. All right. You're not going to take like a lesser pay than what you deserve. You're definitely speaking up for yourself and you doing this makes you successful. All right. So closed mouths don't get fed is what I'm feeling. So if you know you deserve something, speak up on it. If you know that it's not right, that you didn't get a promotion in five years, speak up on it and watch how easily you become a successful and get that promotion you wanted. All right. If you know you deserve something more in a current situation or relationship, speak up on it. And you could be pleasantly surprised how this person turns around for you or how they walk out of your life and the right person steps up exactly how you wanted them to be. All right. Now is not the time to be mute. Now is not the time to keep opinions and stuff to yourself. If you feel like something is right, you need to speak up on it and stand on that firmly. All right. And watch the universe support you. Okay. Because it's something that you're fed up with, with this patience in the reverse. It's like you feel like either your patience has been tested or you should have already gotten what it is that you've been seeking and, and you're kind of losing patience. All right. But like I said, if you just, if you just open up your eyes a little bit, you'll see you're already kind of there to where you need to be. All right. Let's see if I can clarify this a little bit more for Pisces. Something flip over. Yes, it did. We have shadow, shadow Pisces. Interesting. So this could be about you being brutally honest with yourself here. Okay, you're definitely tapped into spirit. You could be dealing with the Gemini too, I feel. All right, but you're definitely dealing with two sides of yourself or you are dealing with just accepting the dark and the light in everyone, not just even just yourself, but everyone. You're starting to see people for who they truly are and no one is all good and no one is all bad. All right, there's good and bad in every single one of us. All right. And I think you're starting to also step out of those victim shoes. OK, Pisces are infinite, infamous sometimes for playing um, that victim role, role a bit too easily just because we're super emotional. OK, and we, and we carry our heart on our sleeves and we get hurt really easily. So sometimes it's really easy for us to step into the shoes of a victim. Right. But this shadow card and with this um, triumphant success card is just telling me and with the universe card, I feel like you, there's no more denying who you are and you're definitely not a victim. You know what I'm saying? Like you're seeing the good and the bad in every situation. And right now, the downloads could be very, very intense, but you may have to cut some of them off. Maybe you got to take a step back, Pisces. Maybe you have to tap out for a second because the downloads are just too strong. All right. But just take a second of rest and tap back in because you have places you need to go and the universe is supporting you in those efforts. All right. But you only get there by being brutally honest with yourself and the people around you.
all right but i think you are you're you're understanding more about where you are in life you're understanding more about the energy of the people around you about the human nature of the people around you to be honest all right so it's not just a situation of you just thinking of oh if this is all about me and my journey you you get that it's a it's bigger than you it's greater than you you understand things from a far more advanced level now with the universe card like you see where all the pieces are moving and it's not just about you everything you do has an equal and opposite reaction so the energy you put out you already are prepared for that energy to come back to you so that means you have to accept the cards that were dealt all right you have to because the shadow self here says i'm not perfect i know i have some demons in my in my closet i know i have some some things that i need to work on Okay, so when so when things don't align perfectly, you're not surprised because you know this is a situation arising in your life so that you can work on yourself, your higher self, so you, you can progress. So it's time to just be brutally honest with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror, Pisces, and, and take note, take inventory of where you are and accept that and work towards the things you don't want. Work towards the things you, you want to change is what I should say. My bad. Work towards the things that you want to change about yourself or about your surrounding, about your environment. You can no longer ignore those things. All right. I do just want to see with this triumphant success card. I just want to see real quick what the message is in this. Um... So it says the first of the mental cards signifies that new beginnings and exciting challenges may be before you. By utilizing your strength, willpower, determination, and focus, there's the potential for you to reign triumphant in many areas of your life. In traditional tarot, this card represents the Ace of Swords. And since the sword is a double-edged, it can cut through all barriers that hold you back if it's done constructively and with precision. Remember that there's another side to the blade. If you rush or use it in a destructive way, it could be harmful to yourself and to others. Always pause and think before you act. This card is a reminder to vanquish, oh, to vanquish negative thoughts in your mind, strengthen and tap into your mental powers, and use clarity with control in order to initiate new ways of thinking. All right. So y'all heard it. I ain't really got to clarify. It kind of goes with everything I've been saying all along. You know, it's definitely time for you to take inventory and, and you are given some sort of tool right now. I don't know if this is, you know, just having that tough skin or you just being, being super strengthened at this time, but I just feel like you're equipped now. You are equipped to handle to handle situations in your life that you've been avoiding or suppressing. Okay, so only you know what that is. I feel like this is a very specific reading. So this probably is not going to resonate with all of y'all. But thank y'all for watching anyway. Okay, and I will talk to you later. Bye.